Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bia and this is my vlog channel slash all things lashes, business, lifestyle, whatever you want to call it. All right, so we are in lockdown 2.0. Honestly, what do you say about that? There's not much to be said about all of that, so we're just gonna move on. I do want to say that no matter what situation you're in, honestly, just be faithful to God, he will move mountains. Just prevail, don't lose hope, don't lose faith. There is light coming at some point. Um, I don't know why I'm actually getting emotional. I think I'm having a couple days of emotions and I have not cried. <laughs> um, I'm not unhappy or anything. I don't know what's going on with me, so excuse that, um, but I just want you guys to know that God is there for you no matter what you're going through. Um, read your Bible. Honestly, there's nothing better than putting the shield of God around you, and you can only do that when you meditate in the Word. So let's just leave it at that. Meditate in the Word. Worship. Put on some good Christian music, like good music, and I don't mean Hillsong. Just like pick something like Maverick City, I think it is, is what I was listening to this morning and it honestly like changed my whole mood. I feel fulfilled. I know that I am entering a time of unknowingness. Like I just don't know what's going to be happening. So, um, but even in times like this, you can have such faith and hope and be fulfilled and your heart can feel full and you can feel at ease and I want you guys to feel that and the only way that I've achieved to feel that is honestly by filling my heart with the Bible, reading, worshiping, just allow Jesus in your heart and yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> so today I'm going to run and do a few groceries right now because they are going to be announcing another a few more measures where I'm living and I just want to make sure that I go there before the craze happens. I don't like to wait in lines. I don't like people staring at me. I don't like when people are just all up in your anyways. So I just want to go get it over with. I don't want to have to deal with annoying people. I'm going to fill my lashes because they are on their way out. I actually have to pack my student's kit because I have had um, students for my online course. If you have not checked it out, check it out. I have it in the link down below, lashesbybia.com. You guys can get certified online. You guys can have a FaceTime call with me. I will give you business advice for your Instagram. I will show you guys how to use your mannequin. Do them. You get a mannequin, you get a kit with it. You get to learn classic lashes, volume lashes, mega volume, hybrid lashes, all that stuff. I can't believe I'm giving all that knowledge away for the price that I'm offering at. Somebody actually asked me that on my last video, I think, how I'm able to, or why I'm giving it away for so little when all these courses are so much. I thought I would touch on that. The reason is because, honestly, I just wanna give people a break. When I took my lash course, it was $1,100. I didn't have the money. I had to borrow the money. And ever since then, I've been doing well, but I realize that there's people in situations that can't borrow money. So I just wanted to make it more affordable. It's not in person. It won't compare to what you can do in person when you have a lash trainer right there with you with a one-on-one -on -one training. So it, you know, it's as much as I'm sharing all that information with you, I do honestly believe that you can get everything you need to know for lashing in an online course versus a one-to-one. -one. But one-to-one -one is obviously like a little bit different and a little bit more hands-on possibly just because you have a trainer right there. Um, but that's why I'm offering it for that price. I wanna give moms a chance people with a lower income. I just wanna give people a chance and a break. It doesn't need to be that expensive, especially when you're teaching yourself, reading all the materials that I have put together. I think that it can be at a good price. So one-on-one obviously is different. Um, everybody learns different. Some people like to self-study. Some people need that teacher right there. So decide for yourself. If you think that you can do a study online, there is a lot of practice and stuff like hands-on where you have to make your own mannequin set, your own volume set on a live model and everything. So if you're down with that, then sign up for the online course. If you need a one-on-one -on -one training and you're in my area, then definitely hit me up as well so that we can do that. And right now I'm going to go do groceries and I'll be back later on and we'll do some lashes. 
So I wanted to show you guys some of my branding. So I just got these stickers made. They say they have my logo and got them on Vista print. Um, I feel like the pricing there is pretty good. And then I got some of these. They're actually postcards. So I designed these on Vista. Actually, I designed them on Canva and then ordered them through Vista print. So that's just a little tip on where you can get your things for your business. So I'm going to be putting the sticker onto the package and this inside so i'll show you guys what i'm going to be putting into the lash kit i do have a few things spread out right here that i'm putting into the lash kit i really wanted to make a lash reel for instagram so in a pandemic packaging can be pretty hard so i found this bag that goes with my purple theme that i have honestly i never thought that my colors would be purple but it just kind of happened so i'm going with it and yeah so i think it looks pretty good it's a sturdy bag so it's not like a flimsy one so i was happy to find this one i'm putting in a mannequin in the kit then some tweezers straight tweezers and then there's somewhere some other ones where are they i don't know but there's this puffer acetone some tape glue lashes practice lashes a lash tile a little something extra is a notebook just a little touch add something personal that doesn't really go with it just to show the extra effort then this uh, lash primer then i have this little like lip mask and then some extra lashes and then i still have to add some other things and then i'm gonna wrap it all put it together and go drop it off she is near me so i'm gonna be putting that together for her and i think she's really excited and can't wait to get it so it is a little bit later i wanted to just uh, insert a clip of me packing my kit for my student and so i just wanted to kind of make a reel with it so i just kind of taped the whole thing i guess and so I'm just going to insert that here so you guys can see what's in the kit. Also, I just wanted to mention I got these cute little storage bags. Um, I really like them. I'm going to probably print like eyelashes on them. So. Those are really cute. I feel like they go really well with like the purpley because they are, what's that called? I don't know. I guess they are like reflective. So yeah, I think that would look really cute. So I do still have to do my lashes. This might be a two day vlog. I don't know. I ended up driving across town to drop off the kit. Um, I ended up having to go pick up something because we were making a new headboard. So whenever the husband is home, things don't really get done too well from my end. But I definitely want to upload more videos and more content frequently, like twice a week probably. So especially during lockdown, because if not, I will literally go crazy if I don't work. I'm already coming up with new ideas on what to do. So guys, like, I don't know. Do you ever experience that or you just don't know and stop? That's me, totally me. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. Like I said, it's probably gonna be like a two day vlog, but I honestly don't feel motivated at all. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't always feel motivated. I feel like I come across like I'm always doing something. I don't feel motivated at all. I don't know what's going on. It's been like this whole new year already. It's been really hard and we are entering a new lockdown tomorrow, so. Basically, it's a stay-at-home order where we're not allowed to leave unless it's for work or groceries. And I'm just, at this point, I'm done. I'm just done. So, it's for 28 days. So, I hope that I can somehow find some motivation. Like, it's bad when I don't even want to do my own lashes. I am obsessed with my lashes. Like, I don't even feel like doing them. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm going to do my lashes now, and I don't think I'm going to do too much of a, like a close-up. I forgot my mirror. Hold on. All right, I got my mirror. So I wanted to come on and just talk about my experience becoming a lash trainer. I got some questions about it. So I thought I would just fill you guys in and just kind of talk you guys, talk with you guys while I do my lashes. So I'm not really going to zoom in. You guys have seen me do this a bunch of times, but I will definitely be doing some more lash videos because I got nothing else to do. Um, honestly, I just so over the situation as I'm sure are many of you, if you are in the same boat. Um, yeah. Basically, my journey becoming a lash instructor is, I'll just lower this, it's a little bright. Um, I got my, okay, so you guys maybe have been here for a really long time and know that I tried doing lash extensions on myself before. Pretty sure I even showed that. That was before I was licensed, so I went and bought all the things, looked it all up. I've always been like that, like if I wanted nails, I just did it. I just bought all the stuff and just started. I did that, I researched all of that, and then I just started doing my own lashes. And then I was like, huh, people are charging money for this, obviously, like, I could do this. So then I advertised myself that I do lashes, but I never had a license, so I didn't feel like too good about doing it. But where I live, you don't need to have a license to do lashes, like, you just don't so I thought you know what I'm gonna go take a course I had to have like both my kids I needed to find a new career because I quit working at the bank and so I just thought like I'm gonna do this I uh, that's like one of the services I could maybe work from home or get a space when they're older I can charge crazy money for like an hourly rate it's crazy what lash artists can make and the other potential around it in the beauty industry is just crazy crazy so I decided to do the course at the time the course was eleven hundred dollars it was a two-week course just insane it was a two-week course and they wanted eleven hundred dollars they said that the kit was worth five hundred I doubt it <laughs> I really doubt now what I know no way it was not $500, but of course the company that they had offered that the kit was from probably was selling it for $500 to them, so. I forgot that I was doing lashes on myself, so I don't want to use a glue ring because I don't want that near my eyes. So I'm just going to use a little piece of tin foil. It was six nights, six evenings. I think from like 5.30 to like eight or something. And I would go three nights for two weeks. So six classes. And they would teach us how to do lashes. There was 10 girls in the class. So $10,000 minus the kit whatever the kit actually cost so they made like nine thousand dollars in two weeks crazy um and they taught us how to do lashes and the girl was really nice she was a lash trainer obviously and she was very adamant on classic lashing so obviously i think i'm, I'm gonna say like the course was about classic lashes so I don't know if volume really was that crazy in yet. It must have been, but it wasn't like a craze, you know? So, yeah, so I got certified on classic lashes. Took the course and then I was like, okay, I gotta get my supplies. So I ordered all my supplies, like a bed and everything. And then once I got that, I started doing lashes in my kitchen. <laughs> As crazy as that sounds, I had a pretty spacious kitchen and I got a divider, a room divider, like one of those like Chinese walls. Started lashing in my kitchen. How crazy is that? I had a spacious kitchen and in that kitchen I put up a Chinese wall, one of those room divider things. I'm sure some of you have even seen it. I still have it. Um, it's at my mom's house actually. And I offered to do one so the teacher had recommended that when we're doing our first few sets of lashes 
that we should do get your first set and your fill will be free so that they would come back so that you had like some kind of like clientele to start practicing on which actually was a really good idea in theory it's crappy working for free obviously but at least you got some experience you know So you guys probably remember I was living in BC and that's where I took the course and then that same year we moved to Ontario and I felt like I had to start all over again. I had to like get a new lash name. I had to get out there. Nobody wanted to take a chance on me because nobody wanted to use a new lash artist and people are super serious about who they go to. So I just advertised. I posted every day. When I say advertise, like, I mean, like, I post it on Instagram every day saying that, you know, or like yeah, offering lashes, then I would offer deals. Um, I would be working like reduced sets and such. And yeah, eventually I started to get really busy. So I it just took patience it really did it took patience and a lot of hard work to do a good job while i was lashing so that people would recommend me i even did like bring a friend or recommend somebody and get ten dollars off and stuff like that because i really just wanted to be working i was ready to like quit i in between there i didn't even do lashes for like a year because i just had nowhere to do it no space at some point, I was like, oh, well, I should just do it at my mom's house. And thankfully, she let me. And that's when I started getting lash clients. Which isn't even that long ago. Just goes to show you can really build something in a very short time. And I'm just very, very blessed that I have a really good work ethic. That's what it comes down to really good work ethic and i just kept at it like it's something you just have to keep at it I started posting every day on social media and then 2020 happened and it helped me pretty much support my family and then i was like i gotta go into my next step and i want to become a lash trainer because there's just other opportunities out there that I wanted to pursue and it took me a really long time and I really thought that I wouldn't be able to afford it because I only ever found like this one course and it was really expensive and then yeah I that was like my 2020 goal and I was just so discouraged and just didn't think that I would still be able to do it and then in December I like literally found somebody so close to me where I'd be able to just go for one day and get it done and I did and that's how that happened and as for that course in itself it was a good experience she's a good lash artist herself and she had set up like group trainings and everything so is something someone that I knew like was doing and practicing what she preaches so yeah I really liked it I had a good experience and it was a one-on-one -on -one training which was nice so i got to ask what i wanted and it was totally worth it because now i can train people can make more money i'm setting myself up to be able to make money online which i already started getting people to do online training which is amazing i'm so grateful for it um but I also worked really hard to get it done. Um, creating an online course is no joke. And it's kind of nerve wracking because you really don't know what you're doing. It's not something you do every day. So you really have to learn everything from scratch. But that seems to be something that I enjoy doing. So um, yeah, 
I hope that answers the question how I like what my experience was. I had a really good experience. I'm really happy that I did it. I feel a lot more accomplished. I learned some things about lashing I didn't know. Um, I was able to get better at the pinch method. So overall, like it was really worth it. I gained some confidence. Um, do make sure that you are following your like guidelines to where you're getting registered. There's a lot of people offering courses, so you want to make sure that they're actually registered, a registered business, and then also um, that it's a recognized certificate. So where I'm from, I can give certificates because it's recognized because here you don't really have much of a guideline. It's not like an esthetician type of school you have to go to for it. So um, that's in my favor. So if you're from the States, you want to make sure that you're following those guidelines. But even if you're just looking for a refresher course, my online course is definitely great for that just to refresh everything that you've learned. It's something that I felt really unprepared for lashing and I only noticed that throughout lashing after my course that I took. I had spent so much money and then I still went and you know learned all this stuff online and everything and so I feel like the course I created is a really good refresher also if you feel the same way about the course you've taken before. Um, I am here to help you like literally lifetime mentoring so it's worth it i didn't have that when i finished my lash school like i didn't have a way to get a hold of my teacher i wasn't gonna call her um i may i maybe other people emailed her but it's not like i had her d her instagram and i could just dm her but that's something you guys can do with me um i was just talking to one of my students today just asking her how it's going so I'm definitely like really hands on when it comes to that. I think it's super important. You want to feel some guidance, not just like you're being left alone with this course to take online without. And then you have to like call like customer service. Like that's not what that is. So um, yeah, I think if you are on the fence on deciding whether you should take the course or not, you can definitely count on having somebody there that supports you throughout. Um, which I think takes a lot of weight off your shoulders because you're not really doing it on your own because you can just contact me anytime. I'm literally always on Instagram. So um, I'm going to leave this eye. I'm just going to finish this video here. I need to turn the lights on and everything and just kind of just do a few. I'm probably not going to do a full eye today just so that it looks kind of full because I'm just over it. Um, yeah, I hope that this was, I don't know, insightful to you guys. I hope that you found some answers you were looking for. If you have any other questions, please, please comment them down below. I'm here to answer everything you want to ask, or you can follow me on Instagram. It's bia.dgp or bia.lashes, and we can talk on there in my DMs. I always check everything so that I don't miss out on anyone, and if you are on the fence, on taking the online course, I do have a discount right now. I, the course is only 400 for a classic hybrid um, volume, mega volume certification. And so, yeah, that's ending at the end of January. So there's only a couple weeks left in doing it. If you guys have any questions, please message me, reach out, don't be shy. Um, I'm happy to talk to you guys about whatever you guys want to know. So I'll finish this video here. I'm going to be posting a lot more if my kids let me during this time of crazy. I hope you guys are doing well. Don't lose faith that things will return to normal at some point. Um, but for now, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.